Questions? Everyone except Arch. Yep. No. Uh, sprained ankle. Yeah, I mean, they're a terrific team. Uh, Doncic is playing at an MVP level. Um, you know, they got, got a lot of weapons, athletic bigs. Uh, Hardaway's starting to shoot the ball real well. 11 threes the last two games. Of course, Reggie, we, we know him well. Terrific. Finney Smith, uh, Dan Witte, they, you know, it's – it's a, a team that has good quality depth. They can shoot the ball. They play off Doncic extremely well. Very good defensively. So we know how dangerous they are. In your past uh, experience, what's it like to you to coach a guy who has going up against the former team for the first time? Yeah, it's, you know, like, I think, you know, obviously uh, he's had a lot of, ex you know, good experiences there. You know, that's where he started his career. Um, but that's sort of the nature of our league. You, you know, it's, it's not uncommon to change teams. So I think players adapt very well. It's, you know, there was a, a period of time long ago where a guy would be with the same team for a long time. But these guys are used to it, I think, by now. When you, you look at a, it starts with the AAU and then, you know, college, you see a lot more transfers in college. And uh, they go to the pros. and. Um, you know, they, they're familiar with each other from the, just the way they go through things. So there's a lot of friendships involved and agents and that sort of thing. So, um, but, you know, those guys were a big part of his life. So, and he, you know, I think he's the best part about Jalen is, you know, he's straightforward, focused, locked into what exactly what we have to do. Uh, yes and no. Like, I always thought, you know, when I watched him in high school and I watched him in college and then watched him in the pros, it's been a steady climb, and that's who he is. And there's nothing that he does that surprises me. Uh, I think from the standpoint of being around him every day and seeing how he interacts with everyone in the building, you know, from – his teammates, to the coaches, to the front office, to, you know, all the people in the organization, all the people that are doing things for us. He has a great uh, appreciation for everyone. And I think that's the, the best part of his leadership. And so I think just seeing that part of him uh, and the way he works every day, it's, uh, you know, every day is the same. you got to get great effort from him, great concentration, uh, and – you can't ask anything more of a player. It's, a, it's still an ongoing um, tampering investigation by the NBA. How closely are you paying attention to that? Because it could affect certain things. Like yeah, no, I think at the appropriate time, I think, you know, Leon and will make a statement. But, you know, the, you let everyone do their job. So that's what we're, the way we're approaching it. You know, we feel very good about, the, you know, the way we went about things. Yeah, no, I, well, yes and no. I think it's a good problem to have, to have that type of quality depth. And, uh, of course, he and uh, Deuce had an opportunity to play in the G League uh, last night. So I love that aspect of it. So they're, you know, I see what they do every day in practice, and um, they still have an opportunity to get some minutes there. So you're always working on their development. Uh, and we're very confident in both of those players. As I mentioned before, you have to settle on a rotation, and then they just have to stay ready for when their opportunity comes. And that's what I love about both guys. I see how hard they work, and I'm very confident that they'll always be ready. They stay ready. And so, um, and in this league, things can change very quickly. And so, nothing's set in stone. And you have injuries, you have foul trouble, you have a lot of things, you have illness, uh, things that crop up. And every time they've been called upon, they've been ready to go. Was 
Yeah, I think not, not, not really. I, and we monitored it pretty closely over the summer and then, uh, you know, through training camp and that sort of thing. And then you just, you know, you look at your daily report and you, you want your players to do, be doing their correctives, dealing with medical on a daily basis. And they've done a good job with that. And I think for most players, there's, everyone's dealing with something. So, and it's, that's why you want to get on top of it right from the beginning and get here early. You know, uh, our medical staff has done a great job with all, all our players. And so I want them to continue to do that and understand how important that is. And uh, you know, we just hired another person that I think is going to add a lot to what we're already doing. I don't know. You know, like I think you you can sometimes read too much into that. It's like it like I try to base it more on you know, over a long period of time. There's there's going to be ups and downs in a season and for every player and how do you navigate through it? And I think it's important to have a strategy for everything. If you're not shooting well, okay, what what is your routine to handle that? If you know, if you're maybe not as you know, in tune with what we're doing defensively. How do you handle that? Like, just all those things. And sometimes things are going great. And so, you know, you you sit, you have your set routine that you do every every day. But I think just have it, you know, sorted out in your own mind. I think that's that's a big part of this. And uh, we have to remember we have you know a lot of young players that are that are learning as we go. But you know, you want to make sure that you're learning and moving forward. And I think. I love the approach that RJ has, and the same. I think I mentioned the same thing about Obi, and so I think that's that's a big part of this. No, we monitored it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I say that? I'm, uh, uh, okay. So yeah, no. Just like when we got it, like when you, whenever you acquire a player, you want to see what you know what's going on and. And, and, you know, like, so we were on top of that right from the beginning. And so, uh, you know, we managed it through the summer and the fall. And we were obviously, like like I said, m almost every player has something they're dealing with. And then, but that's why it's important to, you know, to come in early, get your treatment, do your correctives, take care of your body. Uh, you know, recovery is a big part of what we do uh, and be ready for the next day. Yeah, I think it, you. It, that's the way. And again, same thing. You you don't want to change you, the routine that you have. So after every game, we're going to look at the good and bad, and we're going to watch film and try to understand why we either have won or why we've lost. And sometimes you can win a game, and you still you, you have to understand the corrections you have to make to move forward. And same thing when you lose a game where you fall short. Uh, you want to understand, okay, yeah, we can do that better. Let's clean this up, clean this up. And usually that, those are the things you, you tend to work on in that particular practice. And obviously, you can't work on everything every day. So you have to prioritize, okay, this is where we need to focus right now and get everyone locked into it. Yeah, you know, like to me, I think that's more, you know, you want to look at it in totality. I think uh, at the end of the year, when you dig into your season, you, you ask yourself, okay, what are the things that are impacting, you know, performance and how can we improve it? Sometimes there's nothing you can do. You know, sometimes it's the way the schedule unfolds. You know, if you're, you could, you know, have be at a rest disadvantage. You could be, there's a lot of things. It could be early starts. It could be, you know, a lot of things. So you want to try to control all the things you can that could help you the most. Now, there's some logistical challenges for us as well. You know, with any time you're, 
you know, if you're in an LA, a Chicago, New York, you're you're dealing with different things. Brooklyn, same same thing. Yeah. So it's like that's part of life, you know. Just be ready to play. That's that's the big thing. Yeah, and again, you, I think you look into, okay, who are the opponents? What happened in the game? And did you what what happened at at the end of a game? Did you make a shot, miss a shot? Did they come up with a loose ball? What what was the difference in the game? And oftentimes that is the difference. It's you know, a shot gets blocked, the ball is loose. There's a scramble. They pick it up and put it in, and you go from winning the game to losing the game. So those are things that. You know, want you want to learn from and understand that oftentimes, the win is determined by the hustle. It's the, you know the small things that'll win the big games for you. It's getting on that loose ball. It's a tip in. It's it's a deflection. It, whatever it might be. So, I mean, those are all things that. So you think it's just a coincidence. That well, the thing is, you want to improve too. It's like uh, you want to get better at at all those things to understand. Okay, the intensity of the fourth quarter is different than the first three quarters. The intensity of the last five minutes of the game is different than the, the start of the fourth quarter. Those are all things that you know factor into it. So, how do you how do you manage it? How do you you know? And I think the more times you go through it, the better you get at it. Yeah, I just think the conditioning aspect of it is is huge. I think uh, he's growing. He's learning. Uh, He's, I think he's gotten a lot better, uh, and I think he'll continue to get better. He's putting a lot of extra work in. Um, you know, I think that's that's a big part of him. That you can't lose sight of how young he is. RJ is, you know, Obi, Jalen, uh, Quick. You know, we have young guys that are will get better. Quentin, you know, that, that that's a that's a, a big plus for our team. Well, I would say that, you know, like, I'm, he's got a great knack. I, I said this to you guys at the beginning of, of the year. I felt he, we have the best offensive rebounder in the league. And I think the defensive rebounding will come as well. And uh, he's starting to really see things. I think it's his gift. Uh, the block shots have been really good. So I think all those things are, are pluses for us. And, just his overall activity continues to get better and better. And um, I think he can anchor the defense. So um, get as many rebounds as you can. I think, you know, I, I don't know, I think we're second or third in total rebounds. So I think that's a plus for us. All right. Thanks, Coach. You guys are just doing what you're doing.